And how do you deal with Ephesians 6? Yeah, let's you deal with you, it real quick. You don't put on a Roman soldier outfit. That's, That's right. not what the Bible says. You no. put on your priestly garments. Yes. That's what the Bible says mm, when it talks about uh, the armor, armor, of, armor God. of God. is not a Roman yeah. soldier. I have yeah. 32 yeah. questions for you <laughs> in two days. And so far, I've gone to about three. Ask number four. <laughs> <laughs> number five. <laughs> number five. <laughs> Pastor Jack Hibbs is saying that Israel is at war, and so I'm going to I'm going to run him his this B-roll of him saying that, and I want you to talk about it. Let's roll that, please. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And so is Israel Tell me what he said. Is Israel at war? Israel's been at war for thousands of years. Yeah. I mean, this is not something new. Is Israel exhalating to a higher level of war? Yes. Are we seeing uh, Ezekiel 38 in motion and in play? Yes, we are. How close are we are? I don't know, but we're close enough to be to prepare ourselves for a second coming without setting any dates. Is Israel preparing for war? Israel is preparing for war. I mean, you live there. Israel's preparing for Do war big time. you have war alerts? And no, well, you go underground as we spoke, as we spoke in, the, in the green room earlier, uh, Pastor Jim, that Israel uh, recruit, recruited right now, just last month, all, not part, all of the reserves, everyone from the Air Force to the Navy to the Mossad to everything, to the Israeli SWAT team, they're in the reserves right now. Wow. And so something's, wow. something's happening, something's moving. And so that's what I see. And the, when they the, get the, to your age, then you know you're at war, right? <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Well, I can tell you that uh, even, even the, uh, the uh, soldiers that are uh, not supposed to be in battlefield right now are being trained. Wow. Because there's not enough. So the Israeli mili military realizes that, yes, we spoke about cyber war. We spoke about all this, but they're getting ready also for ground troops and getting ready for all this. And so are, is Israel at war? Yes. Is it something new? No. Is it escalating to a new level? Yes. Mm -hmm. How close are we? I don't know, but we're getting very close. Wow. The gospel has got to go forth. Wow. Amen. We're truly living in the last days. Amen. Amen. And wow. we, can, we can look at what's happening on the world map with China, with Iran, with Turkey. Yes, we see the players in motion. We see it escalating to that level. Absolutely. 
we see Iran stationed in various places in the Middle East that they weren't there before. All the Hezbollah, all the Hamas are being triggered by Iran. And Iran is the main player. Yeah. And don't forget that Iran, until the 1930s, was identified on every globe and every map as Persia. Right. And don't oh. forget that out of the Persian Empire came Haman, who wanted to kill all the Jews. That's and that. don't forget Esther, a That's Jewish right. woman, yes. with anointing of God over yes. her, and said, if I die, I die intervened and God used that and blessed that. Yes. And so we're watching, there's that picture. Yeah. And now we're in the days when Israel has returned and it's all started again. Persia, the Haman oh spirit, boy. which is nothing but a Chaldean spirit of the demonic realm is now encompassing and engulfing Persia. And they're saying, kill all the Jews, kill all the Jews. And other nations are aligning with it. Ezekiel 38, the rabbis, the orthodox rabbis in, in Israel, and I'm not saying all of them, but a lot of them have gone on record in the news pointing at Ezekiel 38 and saying, we are living in this now. It's happening now. People, guys that don't even understand the New Testament documents, don't believe in Yeshua HaMashiach, they've got the Old Testament, they are blinded in, in part, but they do see that. And now they're talking about how the they don't use the word rapture, but God's going to come down and get the synagogues and take us up to be with him. He's going to take care of us. He's going to get us out of the way. They're using that language. He's it, talking about them being blinded in part. Unfortunately, some believers are blinded in full. Yeah, yeah. 